Hey guys, it's Mag212. How you guys doing? Today I'm going to be making an in-depth overview video on my Halo sniper rifle replica. I'm going to be trying this new style of overview video again, except it's going to be a little different. I have my camera on a tripod, so hopefully the video is not as shaky. This is my modified Nerf long shot, and as you can see, it is a long shot from here back. It even has the scope. I'll start by going over some of the major external modifications first. Uh, underneath here, I did cut off part of the bipod. I just cut off this little piece, and then I super glued a tactical rail from the Nerf Stampede onto it. And I have attached a modulus bipod, which still functions. And I made this kind of crazy little barrel system, which is supposed to make the long shot look like the Halo sniper rifle. It has two T's right here, a CPVC T and a half inch PVC T. And this barreling material is half inch PVC. I actually have part of a Nerf barrel in there to connect the two barrels so that firing is a little bit more consistent. And as you saw, the barrel and bipod is removable. And this barrel piece here actually comes out with a little bit of work. So if you want to take it apart, you can completely disassemble. And you want to push this all the way in so that you have as little of a gap between your two barrels to make sure your dart flies out right. Since the barrel's made out of half inch PVC, it has a really small inner diameter, which means sometimes you get an occasional dud dart. It looks really cool, which is the important part. And when you take off the barrel, it, it fires flawlessly. In order to make sure that your shots are, for the most part, good shots, you have to make sure that your barrel is straight. It can't be angled up too much, and it can't be angled down. Just look at it, and as long as it's straight, it's fine. And you also want to look at it from the top and see that it's not going to the left or the right. Okay, I think I've gone over the uh, external modifications enough, so I'm going to go into the internal modifications. Performance-wise, I replaced the spring in the long shot with a K25 spring from McMaster Car. In addition to that, I removed the air restrictor, padded the plunger head, and filled the little hole in the breech. I also did put in a 1730 seconds brass barrel, which is really good for old, used, worn darts. In addition to those modifications, I also uh, installed some LEDs. Underneath the rail right here, there is a switch, which uh, you can turn on and off like that. You'll know the switch is in the on position because when you pull the trigger, uh, you'll light up some LEDs in the front. These are green LEDs and they are powered by the trigger. So uh, when you fire, it's kind of like a simulated muzzle flash. It's just another little thing to kind of uh, spice up the whole modification because ordinarily it would be a little bit bland. I think the LEDs add another layer to it. Okay, so now I'll go over the paints I used for my paint job. Uh, the base coat was a Duplicolor vinyl dye spray paint. It's this dark gray right here. And after I applied my base coat, I did some brush detailing right here. This is Citadel paint. It's Administratum Gray. And then on top, I have silver dry brushing and some black dry brushing. The dry brushing just makes it look a little bit worn and it, look, it definitely looks really cool on the gray components. I also painted a six dart magazine for the long shot to complete the whole sniper look. I don't usually paint all the internals because sometimes if you paint them the paint will come off and it's also dangerous because this looks a lot like a real firearm which would be uh, pretty dangerous if you were to play outside because police officers might mistake your gun for a real gun. So uh, if you're painting your guns like this, you should probably not go outside because it's just not a good idea. I didn't really leave any orange because I thought the orange would kind of detract from the whole look of the replica. This is designed to be a replica after all, and I think it looks really cool without all of the orange stuff. I think I basically covered everything you need to know about this gun, so now let's go to a quick firing demo so you can see how it shoots.
on average, the long shot shooting 94, 95 feet per second, which is pretty good for a Nerf gun. And like I said, when you have this uh, little cool looking barrel, it does decrease velocity and range. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. This is the conclusion of my Halo Sniper Rifle Replica Overview video. And as always, thanks for watching.